Hi guys, in this presentation we shall learn the int data type in depth. We will play with the int data type to get some idea about int. Okay, so you can declare the integer data type as followed by int int variable name. Okay, this is how we declare what after declaring mem in memory there will be some memories allocated so depends on the sys depends on the machine either it can be two or four bytes okay so for for both cases we'll find how to find its maximum and minimum ranges okay so by default if you write int it is nothing but signed int okay so if i said that if the machine has two bytes then there are 16 bits are there okay since it's a base 2 system 2 power 16 will give rise to 65536 okay so this is the total value since we are starting with 0 the range will be 0 to 65535 okay so this is the range for unsigned system if it is for signed system then this value is divided by half so if divided by half we'll get like positive values it's starting we are starting from zero so zero two three two seven six seven and in negative values it will go up to three two seven six eight negatives okay see total capacity is same but it depends on signed or unsigned whether well in unsigned system we store only positive values well in signed system we store both positive and negative values since we are both storing positive and negative values this range is divided into half so this capacity is divided into half for storing half positive values and half negative values okay now what happens if if it is allocated of four bytes now four bytes means 32 bits if it is 32 bits i can write like 2 power 32 which in turn 32 value is this value and this is the total capability it can store okay in unsigned range it will be 0 to this value this value minus 1 okay so you can write like 2429496 okay so this is the this is the range in unsigned system what happen, what happened if in signed system we have to divide it by 2 if i divide it by 2 i'll get the result as 2147483648 okay so this is the number of dividing this okay so in signed range the range would be this much in positive and negative so i'll write like 0 2 2 1 4 because including 0 we'll get this value and from minus 1 to this value okay so this is the ranges okay this is these are the ranges for signed and unsigned values so for signed values we use percentile d as a format specifier if for unsigned values we use percentile u further as a format specifier see this is what we derive from the the top okay so my machine is on four bytes okay so i have written all the that specifications okay so i'm gonna play with those numbers and see will what will observe in int data one i'm gonna store minus one and int data two unsigned data two i'm gonna store again minus one we will see what will be the results So what do you expect? Minus one and minus one, right? We'll see how we'll get the answers. You can see that the first answer is minus one, and the second answer is four two nine four nine six seven two nine five, which is not, which is not minus one, right? So what is the observation? You can see that minus one, minus one, but we got the answers different in this case. So why this is happened in unsigned system? the range minimum value is zero okay in sign system the minimum value is in minus so in this if you store minus one while you store minus one 
while retrieving it also will get minus 1 okay but in this case if i store minus 1 see here the range clearly says that it can store only positive values okay if i store negative value then i'll get some other value so, so that's why the important note is that whenever you got an variable you should always use that variable in the given range okay so we're, we're going to investigate why this has happened so in order to understand that first we need to do some data manipulation on character data type and we'll same apply the logic to the integer data type okay so we have to investigate why that happens so before investigate investigating that we should know how these numbers works and we should apply the same logic to the integer and char okay we'll see so consider only the first place okay in every number so up to here it is first place right and from 0 to again 9 is the first place right this is the value and here these are the values okay only considering the first places and here also 0 1 2 like this so on and so forth okay so no matter what the number you take if you take only the first digit or the first units place then you will get the answer as 0 to 9 only right so this will loop okay this will roll back again 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 no matter how the big number is so how we have to apply the same logic to the char and we'll see how it works you can see that in in char unsigned the max value is 255 okay so if i store 256 this is the binary value of 256 so in addition to 8 bits I will have to provide a ninth bit also because 255 is the uh, 255 is 255 is nothing but 2 power 9 right so ninth bit should be required for 256 this bit and this bit okay so ultimately my my aim is my ultimately to store 256 in character it is not possible because this bit will be not taken by the character because the character has 8 bits uh, and the lower 8 bits will be taken and this will be discarded and same here also it will discarded discarded and discarded so here the value is 255 up to here fine again the value is 0 1 2 3 okay so this is the same logic as we apply here in the, in the top in the top right so after 255 again 0 1 2 3 so if i want to apply the same logic in integer see we have stored minus 1 for example minus 1 is stored in or uh, minus 1 is stored in integer like ff 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 and ff right ff f means four ones so ultimately there are 32 ones are there since here 8 are there 8 4 32 so whenever you store minus 1 either in unsigned or in signed the ultimately the value will be stored the value will be stored in this form only so but while retrieving it it is a problem because see here last we'll, we'll see the msb bit msb bit is one so in the signed case it is treated as an a negative number and it it performs a two's complement operation on this number two's complement operation two's complement on this number and we'll get the answer as minus one in unsigned system it considers whole it considers all these ones as an number okay as an magnitude okay there is no sign sign conversion in the unsigned system so if all ones are there then we'll get the answer as four two nine four nine six seven two nine five okay so this is how we got the answer as this okay Alt, uh, even though we have stored minus one we got the answer like this due to this reason and we'll see second observation what is the second observation in that you can see that here int int format specifier i have written like percentile d now i'll change the format specifier and see what happens okay i'll change the format specifier as percentile u and percentile d so the same data minus one and minus one just as uh, changing the format specifier and we'll see what it works how it works 
the first answer is the 42949672295 and second answer is minus 1 now how this happens again the logic is simple see no matter what the number is stored how you take that number it is that matter see I, i'll explain see we have stored minus 1 and in unsigned int also we have stored minus 1 okay for retrieving i have used here percentile u for retrieving the data i have used percentile d okay here i got the answer as 42949672295 and here i got the answer as minus 1 okay so you can see that in, in this is an integer where integer data type in integer data type this is not the maximum value okay this is according to the this is not the maximum value and in unsigned there is no negative values so how we got the answer again the reason is simple minus 1 is stored in all ones here percentile u is used percentile u means i will not consider either msp is 1 or 0 which means msp is positive or negative I'll just calculate its magnitude. If I calculate its magnitude, I'll get the answer as max value, which means 4294 Okay. And in this case, the same number in unsigned in unsigned system, uh, format specifier is percentile D, which means I have to consider this as an 1 and I have to perform two component operation. I'll get the answer as minus 1. Okay. So what are the conclusions I want to say? so the conclusion is we should not exceed the range okay so this is the first conclusion which is with example i have shown you and the second conclusion is that we should use a fo proper format specifier okay in the in the place of percentile use percentile u i have used a percentile d in the place of percentile d i have used a percentile u so that makes this calculation that make this answer to be this weird answer okay